Hello everyone, it's Carly. Welcome back to my channel. I have made it from New York. I'm so happy to be home, only because um, I'm obsessed with New York. It is like everything to me. I love it so, so much. But um, Sebastian obviously left to Atlanta a couple days before me. So it was my job to bring the house keys and <laughs> our plane ride home was already like super delayed. We were tired, we'd gotten in at like 2.30 in the morning and we were on the plane, Sebastian was like, did you, oh, where did you put the house keys? And I was like, <laughs> I didn't bring our house keys. Our little lock, we have like two locks and the one on the bottom, you can just lock it and close the door behind you. So that's what I did <laughs> and then we had to, Long story short, sleep at Sebastian's parents' house and our landlord had to come in the morning, let us, it was just like a whole thing and was that yesterday? That was yesterday. <laughs> so if I'm a little weird in this video, it's because A, I feel like I still want to go to bed and B, I'm just mourning having to be in Utah when I could be in New York. But anyway, it was a great trip and I picked up a lot of amazing things. When I go to New York, um, I've, I've never really shopped, which sounds crazy because that's like the place to do it <laughs> but usually it literally takes all my money to get me there that I don't really have enough to shop but this time was different and we were able um, to go to a few stores that we really wanted to hit and I picked up some great pieces that I wanted to share with you guys so I hope that you enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe and let's just hop right in also hopefully this backdrop isn't so ugly for you guys I've just been like in a weird mood and I just want to sit on the floor with the light like hitting me um so the first thing that i wanted to show you guys this is kind of non-beauty related uh, my first day i spent the entire day with sebastian's cousin natalia it was absolutely amazing i loved every second of it and um yeah we just drank a ton of coffee we ate amazing food we did the whole trip but this particular day was great <laughs> and um we went to a couple of great bookstores you guys know i'm reading one book a month which when i told her about that um she like reads nine books a month so i felt very like gotta step up my game um, but I really wanted her recommendations because I really do want to broaden my horizon of what I'm reading and um, so yeah, so she recommended three books to me that I picked up and it was really cool. I will leave a link to both of the bookstores down below. Um, both of these books are used so they were cheaper. I love it. I was like, yes, give me, give me. Um, so yeah, it was just really great. Like this book originally is like $10. I got it for four. So Hey, so I won't lie to you. I literally can't remember <laughs> what these books are about. So I will also leave a link to all of the books as well as like a brief. I could read the like I this was a whim to film this video. So I don't remember what they are about and I don't want to look them up. So I will leave all my card literally was full. Um, Natalia is probably dying at the fact that I can't remember. But anyway, I will leave all of the information below if you guys want to check out any of these books. I will just quickly kind of jot through them. The first one that I picked up was Because She Never Asked by Enrique Villa Matas. I literally can't say that. Um, the second one was The Stranger by Albert Camus. And when I picked this up, so many people told me that I'm going to love it and it's going to be great. So very excited. If you've read this book, let me know. It seems to be a very popular book. Um, the last one is Men Explain Things to Me by Rebecca Solnit. I, again, <laughs> sorry, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I wish I had a little bit more information on them, but it's kind of fuzzy and this was a whim. So all of the information will be below if you would like to check out these books. Um, and then keep your eyes peeled because after I read three books, I am going to be doing a review on them. So I'm currently finishing up my second one. Um, so these will all be in a review coming up soon. So stay tuned for that. We can now move on to beauty, which I'm so excited about because when I went to New York, the first thing I wanted to do was go to the Glossier store. I was so excited. <laughs> I wanted to go for so long and I wanted to purchase their things before. Um, and I just knew that it wasn't going to be as fun and special if I bought it online for the first time. So I saved it up till I could go to New York. And it is absolutely so worth it to make the trip to go there if you're in New York. It is the most beautiful building. You walk in, there's these beautiful like blush pink stairs. You go all the way to the very top. There's greeters around you making you feel like you're in a 
Kim Kardashian showcase. Like, I don't know, it was crazy. And then you walk in and their showroom's there and all of their products are around and you pick which ones you want and then it comes down this like very unnecessary little robotic thing in the little bag and the little pink pouch and it has her name on it. Like it was so good, I was obsessed. So I was so thankful that she took the time to take me there because I loved it. And I specifically went there for one thing but I settled for three things because I got a little bit overwhelmed. Um, with all of the goodness and I did want to know if when you purchase something do you I thought someone was in my house uh, When you buy something online do you get the pink pouch or is it just in a store because I want five of those I love them uh, the first thing that I picked up was the Glossier super pure serum that's not going to focus, whatever. Um, I specifically wanted this one. I've heard such amazing things about this product, so I couldn't wait to get my hands on this. Um, it's supposed to be, you know, very purifying. I've used it almost for a week now. I started using it on Saturday when I got it. I use it morning and night, and it's very itty bitty. It's like half fluid ounce or something. <sighs> So very tiny, but I only use like one to two drops and that usually covers um, my face and a little bit on my neck and I have loved it. I haven't really seen like the purifying effects just yet, still waiting for those features to come through, but um, it makes my skin feel so supple and moisturized like when I wake up in the morning and also kind of combats all of my redness as well, um, which I like love so I'm very excited about that I want to keep you guys updated on how it works um, just my first use I didn't break out didn't get anything weird um, I've been loving it and I've been using it two times a day so it's been very good uh, the second thing that I picked up was the milky jelly cleanser this was another thing that I heard good things about not so much obviously as like a makeup remover or anything like that I specifically wanted this for my daytime wash in the morning um, and it's been doing an awesome job. I just got the small size because I wasn't sure how I was gonna like it But I'm definitely repurchasing the bigger size because it's such a gentle Cleanser for in the morning when you're like in the shower. You don't really have anything on your face like it is amazing It doesn't make you feel like squeaky clean. Um, I personally don't like that feeling I just want to feel like soft moisturize nothing like I just want my hands to glide you know through my face and this has really been doing such a good job for me again I haven't broken out anything weird happening with this um, yeah I really I've really been enjoying it the last thing that I picked up was like a semi um, impulsive buy not really but <laughs> I really wanted to get the mint bomb.com so like their moisturizing bombs they have a ton of them some of them are even like um, what's that called? Tinted. I didn't want a tint. I wanted just like a regular one and I felt like the mint was one that really smelt the best to me. So I picked it up. I really love it. The only thing I'm not obsessed with is the packaging. It's like a little squeezy one. I love to take chapstick with me on the go or at work or wherever and I just like to put it on my lips but which this one you technically could do that. I just feel like it could get a little messy. So I just put it on my finger and I like to be home when I do that. Like I, I don't know, I just use it at night, keep this by my bed. Um, it's been working really, really nicely, moisturizes my lips, makes them feel really great, smells really great. It's a good price point. Yeah, I really like it. So that is all for beauty. My next little category if you will is fashion um i did pick up a few things because i wanted to go to thrift stores i love going to thrift stores if i could recommend you do one thing in a like foreign city definitely check out their thrift stores it's so fun to see what people are wearing over there or what they're giving away it's just like a different vibe uh so i was very excited we went to a ton but the one place that i found some goodies was Buffalo Exchange and they have them all over the place really great um, so the first thing that I picked up was this white blouse I'm not gonna be able to show this but just this white blouse it's a silky material which right off the bat I was like Ugh. Um, and if you can see the trimmings on the sleeve and on the little pocket just has a little pop of red which I thought was exciting um, and yeah I tried to be a little bit picky when I'm thrifting things, A, because I couldn't fit everything in my suitcase that I wanted, obviously, and um, 
Buffalo Exchange is a little bit pricier. Um, it kind of hurts me how <laughs> pricey it is, but over there it is more unique pieces, so I felt like that kind of justified it. Um, so yeah, I felt like this was just a little bit more exciting than just like my basic white blouse. Um, it's that pajama chic style that I absolutely love. I feel like layered with chunky necklaces is just gonna make it look so gorgeous. Like my hair slicked back. Um, yeah, I'm just like in love with it. It was $22. Again, <laughs> it's like not ideal for a thrift store, at least for me, like a thrift store not obsessed but i absolutely love it and i snagged it because i couldn't say no um so yeah very excited just to style that piece the last thing that i got i only picked up two things um but the last thing that i got were these slide on little snakeskin shoes and i love these these are by chase and chloe and you cannot even tell that they've been worn like if at all they're so brand new it's like gorgeous these were $31.50. They were so gorgeous, I couldn't say no. They have a little chunky heel, which I'm obsessed with. And I just think they're, they're so fun. Like they just dress up any boring outfit. Um, and they're just a fun way to dress up your shoe. And I was really obsessed with them. So I literally cannot wait to style those. Um, but yeah, that is all that I picked up. Um, not too much. I had to kind of conceal it because my suitcase was small to begin with. <laughs> so I tried to reel it in. Uh, but I wanted to share these products with you guys. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this video. And stay tuned for the New York vlog. That will either be up before this or after this. I don't know. Um, but I hope that you guys enjoy kind of seeing that footage. It was such a great trip. I'm so ready to be back. That city just inspires me. And makes me want to work hard so I can finally live there. <laughs> um, but that's all that I have for you guys today. I hope that you enjoy and I will see you in my next video. Bye!